Greetings, famille. I am a Ritter coming today being Saturday, September the 28th. So as I'm getting ready for my next client, I had Spirit, uh, my hair self, that kicked in and suggested that I come and do a deep dive a reading on dragons. And you know how much I love these subjects, right? Anything that's out of our, you know, regular element, what I love to call woo-woo, like I'm there like first in row and let's do it. So we're going to look into dragons today. I want to know about the history of dragons, everything I need to see, everything I need to know, like from the beginning of this species, which I seem to uh, resonate that perhaps dragons were the very first of a, you know, um, a line of different species. I, I, I resonate that they were probably the first in line. I do also feel that dragons were mostly, if not completely benevolent at the beginning of time. Very much like, uh, what do you call that fluffy white uh, dragon in the never ending story? Was it Yahoo, his name? Migu, you know, he's fluffy, he's cute. I got a feeling that many, some of them might have even resembled Atreyu maybe, or was that the kid driving, riding him? I think that some of them look like this. I also believe that in any kind of species, you'd have like different um, underspecies of them. What I mean is they're probably like uh, uh, furry, fluffy ones, winged ones, humanoid ones, water ones, things of that uh, nature, right? And then probably with time, and, you know, as our simulation, got corrupted and got taken over uh, because yes i mean it's been like an astral galactic war very much like star wars for from what i can see like a very long time like i'm not gonna say from the beginning of time but it sure does feel that way right so and then probably with time some of the dragons might have gotten corrupted and then you know it would have like uh, branched out like in anything all species it seems that there are good um some that are divided more on a benevolent side and some that are more malevolent side right and i think that this is what we see as like uh uh, the, the design or the, the appearance of dragons we see in, you know, modern day, like, uh, culture movies, the very scaly ones, the dark ones. I think that could have been like a corrupted version of what was once benevolent. But I've actually never even looked into the subject uh, with tarot. Uh, this is just like how my higher self has... Uh, shown uh, to me about this beautiful, glorious species. And uh, today, Higher Self told me, Richard, you got to do a spread on dragons. So without a further ado, that was a long enough intro, wouldn't you say? Higher Self, over soul and universe, tell me everything I need to see, everything I need to know regarding dragons. Share to me, show me like, you know, their very beginning, their story, where are they now? What, you know, Am I accurate with my intro in what uh, I shared with my family? Tell me everything I need to see, everything I need to know in regards to the dragon species. All right, let's see, let's cut, let's rock and roll. Okay, guys, so the first in line, uh, well, we got the Ten of Pentacles, so that is like... Uh, you know, absolute abundance, right? Happy everything, happy life, happy world. And uh, yeah, the whole deck was upside down. Happy life, happy world. Um, you lack of nothing. So the dragon species originally are seen as the Ten of Pentacles, full of abundance. Then uh, next we have... All right, so he's a messenger, okay? So dragons, could it be that they were messengers? So pages are very youthful. Page of Swords is a watcher. He's a messenger, a messenger of truth, of justice. So very youthful. So we're talking like their beginnings, right? So I guess like the birth of them, they were truth messengers, 
watchers, perhaps protectors, being side by side with the Ten of Pentacles. And they were warriors, huh? So this is uh, my other super fast uh, knight, right? So I got the Knight of Swords and the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is uh, very authentic, a lot of integrity, a lot of passion, creativity. And we all, you know, see uh, the visual of a dragon spitting fire. So this could look actually like a dragon coming in, charging in, a warrior, a warrior of truth and justice. And there, uh, you know, I was talking about the never ending story. So I don't know if the dragon was at Treyu or the kid riding him, but you know, I'm, get, I'm being shown that. Uh, this is a little wink wink to uh, my intro. So moving on, so yes, there was a battle, a battle, a battle of being on the higher ground. So that could talk about what I was tapping into with the corruption, right? So there was indeed a battle and the dragons were battling off something from the other, but they had a 360 vision and they had the higher ground at war. At the heartbeat of this brand, we do have a collaboration here. So Cups is all about emotion, an emotional connection. Uh, and you know, we're talking about dragons. We can see this winged uh, lion as a dragon too. So there was a collaboration, a collaboration. So what was it, who was this collaboration for? What is it? Was it perhaps with our creators? Our creators had created the dragons, the dragons that were like, uh, warriors, warriors of integrity, of justice, watchers of all things abundant, because I do believe that our, our world, our planet ship, Earth, our universe, the very beginning of it was like made to be like for thriving, complete like abundance, hence the Ten of Pentacles. Moving on. So there was a death here. Okay, so that's fall. That's right after the heartbeat, which is the emotional collaboration. Death, 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 the death of a subject or a chapter for the rebirth of another one, or something came in and created chaos and a form of death, whether it's literal death or the death of a chapter of what they were doing originally. So yeah, it does feel because I have like, you know, at the middle uh, row, you know, higher ground at war, there is a collaboration and then the death of something here. Very intriguing. It, it could very well be that corruption I was speaking of. Uh, so now we're going to go to the third row, which is like the future from now moving on in regards uh, to our beloved dragons. So there is, this is a, it's war. Okay. So wands is usually for me as a reader, it'll be like outer conflict. Five is inner conflict, but nevertheless, it is a war card. Okay. But fives again are not long lasting. So I guess if we can look at it from the beginning of our universe, our time, so like whatever war that is like moving on in the future is not a long period compared to like time and space, right? It's short lived, but it is one of war. Okay, we got two more before my clarifiers. And then, okay, so we got the Knight of Pentacles. So he is very well calculated. He is good militia, but he's slow moving, a man with a plan. He's got his destiny in mind. It's been planned for a very long time. So yes, I guess with this war, right, like um, probably like the good aspect or the benevolent side of said uh, the dragon species are warriors and they've had a good plan one of abundance here huh, with that pentacle. So they're like a tank moving, moving to destination. No one can blow him up. But, you know, I like to use this expression because I love my Trans Am. It's not fast like my Trans Am. It's a tank, a military tank. And then we're ending. Well, okay, so there's my other five. So the uh, outer conflict. So what is really good here as a reader, whenever I get two sets of fives, they neutralize one another. And especially now they're on the last row. So for the future, right? So they're almost side by side with the Knight of Pentacles at the center. So slow moving, well calculated, triple quadruple chess player. Okay, good militia. And he is there battling here. Huh? So the inner conflict, the outer conflict. But thanks to this guy and his plan, they neutralize each other. So I think that it feels almost like a return. 
like a comeback of the dragon species. I don't know about you, but I'm always looking at the sky when I'm outdoors. And a lot of them, these clouds, they look like dragons to me. You know, like I see a lot of stuff. Some Once I found like a great white shark right on top of my head and you cannot dismiss that it looked like a great white with its mouth open, like it's incredible. So I say this, just say that I'm always looking at the sky and I see dragons all the time. So could it be that there's a return of this glorious species? Let's see what uh, our uh, clarifiers have got to say. So there we go. So the devil, the devil has a lot of contenations aspects to it, but we're talking about dragons, right? So the devil does look like a dragon here, but uh, so I'm not sure if we're re referring to the dragon right now or if, you know, a side, like a split between that species, because we do have Adam and Eve that are chained up here in total submission to powers uh, that uh, dominion over them, but I'm not sure yet. Let's see what else I get at the center so yes okay they are here they are back in order to bring uh the uh, ongoing never ending fluidity of the elixir of life granted the universe aces for me are alpha cards they they come after the tens and uh you know that's total emotional uh, abundance that never ends and then we're ending with, yes, yeah, so the, it is a return of the dragons. We can look at this. So whilst I'm having this discussion, we're thinking uh, of the subject. So, you know, we're staring at these three, like not really, you know, like, uh, like almost like bored or blasé or meditating or thinking of. And here they come, like you, right? So I do feel there is a, um, a return the dragons. So with the clarifying spreads, I got the devil, I got the ace of cups, and I got the four of cups. So cups are all about emotions, right? This one is like grant an emotional grant to the universe. Something is restored. So while we're thinking about it or meditating about it, that they are coming back. So I'm going to look at the devil, not from a negative um uh, the negative aspects, but just like this is the visual of the dragon, right? He's got wings. Um, I'm going to take a golden major arcana on this. Uh, the under deck was the sun, the most positive card. And again, I'm seeing like riding at you here. Very funny, huh? But that's the thing, you know, with us card readers. Uh, it's because the cards do have a general reading. So I've never read the book, but you know, you read, you, you read, you, you study like what each card means and they have a meaning. But as a reader, every card, like you're channeling your higher self, so you get more information. So one card from one reading to another with different questions, I'll tap into different added add-ons if you want. So anyways, blip blap loop, give me one golden major arcana on the dragons. Yes, I love the uh, dragon of the energy. I even see like my trans am, like on the hood, um, my um, decal of uh, the, uh, uh, the, the, the they call it in America, like the screaming chicken, which I just find very hilarious. But uh, the rising phoenix, I see it as a dragon. So one golden major arcana on this, because I always seem to stray off. All right, so one golden major arcana is going to be this one. So yes, there is a return of the dragon, and it is to awaken the dead, the, the trumpet of the heavens, rising the dead, a lot of judgment be restored, right? And again, we're talking about dragons. This angel has wings, and that is the visual, the most common visual of dragons, is that they are winged species. So there is a return, huh? Is it like um, prophecy end times? You know, but uh, it's a glorious card. It, it restores a lot, this. Huh? And it goes a lot like, you know, we keep hearing these high frequency in our ears, that high pitch sound, you know, like I think they've been back for a while, but it's gaining more and more momentum. 
I have a feeling that people are probably seeing them more in more, tapping into that energy, because whatever corruption had happened and split that species into two, I got a feeling that that's going, the corrupt side is going in these now uh, upcoming days, as we're going into the golden era, the age of Aquarius. So there you go, guys. I hope you did like my little video on dragons. And I love you all very much. Be good, be kind to yourself, and I'll catch you all on the next read. Rock and roll. Ah! Cheers. Mwah.